We have seen several complex neural networks so far. Some of them may have millions of weights parameters that we need to train on. So can we reuse the weights that have been trained before? And the answer is yes. And that's the idea of transfer learning. So transfer learning is a technique that allow us to save time and uh, computational cost by using some pre-trained models instead of training from scratch. And those pre-trained models have already learned how to extract meaningful features from its source dataset. So why does transfer learning work? Well, to answer this question, we need to go back to the fundamental characteristics of neural networks. So the idea is that neural networks learn feature representations in some level of hierarchy. And the lower layers extract lower level features, which are universal, while the higher level of layers extract the higher level of features in the whole picture and decide the objects to output. In this way, we can fully utilize the universal layers and only fine tune the final layers. So let's take a look of how does transfer learning work in details. So transfer learning consists of four steps. The first step is pre-train on a base network on a huge dataset like ImageNet. Well, with Gluon CV, you do not need to do that steps because the Gluon CV provides you a way to download the pre-trained base networks from its model zoo. And the second step is to create a target neural network model. The new model uses the architecture and parameters of the source model, except the output layers. We do that because this model parameters contains the knowledge learned from the source dataset, and this knowledge will be applicable to the target dataset. And in this step, we assume the output layer of the source dataset is only responsible for mapping features to the labels of the source dataset and therefore not needed by the target model. And the third step is to add an output layer to the target model. The output layer should have as many neurons as the number of classes in the target dataset in our target problem setting. We randomly initialize the parameters of this layer. And the last step is to train the target model on the target dataset. The output layer is trained from scratch. Will the parameter of our remaining layers are either fine-tuned or not changed during the training? So here are several tricks for transfer learning. First, training and or fine tuning on the targeted dataset as normal but with strong regulation, regularization. And that means we will set a small learning rate and a few epochs for hyperparameters. And second is to make sure how the source dataset be more complex and more diverse than the target dataset. If we pre-train on that and then fine-tune on the less complicated target dataset, then our model will transform and learn quickly the existing features. Last but not the least, be aware of which network that you are transferring from. Some common trust stepler like JetRasNet have been proved to be well-built solid networks. It is crucial to pick a network that is suitable for the task. 
and likely to be the most efficient, or several alternatives, if such exist. And if using a no standard networks, be sure that the network architecture is sound and indeed the best choice. Well, the complex deep learning model training is expensive, both time-wise and cost-wise. We can just download the pre-trained neural networks online. The Gluon CV model too contains a large number of pre-trained convolutional neural networks, such as Alexa, ResNet, and the state-of-art models. And these models have been pre-trained on large computer vision datasets with great benchmarks in a variety of computer vision downstream tasks, such as image classification, object detection, semantic segmentation, and so on. So rather than training from scratch, what are the options for us to fully utilize the pre-trained models? Well, first, and the, the least computational expensive one is grab and go without any training. This method may be a little bit limited, especially when the target dataset contains some labels that are not existing in our source dataset. And second, we can probably frozen the pre-trained weights and only train the last layer. This might be a little bit more computational expensive than the first step, but may reach a better model. Well, finally, if the source dataset and the target dataset are somewhat different, then we can also choose to fine tune the pre-trained layers besides train only the last layers. And this method will be much more computational expensive, but will help us to reach a good model faster than just training from scratch. After the fully understanding of the transfer learning idea, now it's time for us to get our hand dirty. Let's open the Jupyter Notebook, MLA CV Day 2 Transfer Learning, and we will see how to use a pre-trained AlexNet in Gluon and transfer learn on our example dataset.